Well, this is intended as a genuine world history covering um, the crucial events and arguments from around 70,000 years ago when the great successful migration out of Africa happened and mankind started to spread around the rest of the planet right up to the present day. It's an attempt to give the general reader um, a clear view of the important uh, areas, periods, moments, arguments going on throughout uh, human history. It's, I hope, um, not too Eurocentric. There's plenty of Europe, plenty of Britain in it, but it's really um, a history for our times. And our times include a big understanding, of course, of the importance of Chinese, Indian, Mongolian, African, South American history there too. And I wanted to bring it all together with some provocative ideas and judgments, and I hope some big surprises. I've had an absolutely wonderful, glorious time writing this book. It's, it's been three years or so in the making. Every part of it, you know, the, the little uh, moments in the library when you suddenly understand something properly for the first time or see a connection you hadn't understood before, right the way through uh, to the last corrections and misprints. Well, over the autumn, there will be eight uh, one-hour BBC One television programmes uh, covering this sweep of human history, as I try to tell it. There will be, I hope, quite a lot of controversy about some of the judgments that I've made, what I've put in and what I've left out. And what I'm hoping is that I will be able to engage in that, not just through things like the website, the involvement of the Open University, but also by giving talks. I'm going to be going to uh, all or as many as I can of the major book festivals. I want to get into bookshops and give little lectures, answer questions, and really invite heckling, because this is to engage and enthuse people with big history. And I want the readers and the, uh, the viewers to feel that they are part of it too and they can really come back and have their say.